fans privateer fx coming at you 23 november thanksgiving week so it's a weird one liquidity is a little bit lower uh, there's a lot of focus on the world cup here as well especially uh, out of that uh, london london center where they love their football which is sort of the home and center of fx so muted muted week let's just say as i drink my coffee the um rbnz 175 last night kind of as expected um four and a quarter now damn it seems like a good um good rate for a bank account i'm sure the banks haven't passed that along yet but four percent uh for deposits that's nice Let's see, Euro, we've got uh, French PMI, we've got German PMI. These are very important numbers uh, coming in. PMI is expected lower, uh, so forecasting 50, 50.6 for, for the Frenchies, and 44 for manufacturing in Germany, and 46 for the services in Germany. These are all slightly lower than previous. So if these come in better, Euro's gonna pop today. Um, you can see the market is expecting them to come in slightly better uh, or slightly stronger. We'll see, uh, 36 the high so far today. We closed last night, everyone uh, knows around 08. Didn't really get back, um, didn't get below the figure. Uh, so we're figure 36 now. Uh, where are we, right? We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, right? I mean, here's your 200-day, uh, 104.05. That's still 70 points away. 70 points is nothing in this uh, current foreign exchange environment, so we could easily see that. But keep this in mind, 104.05 is your 200-day. Um we're just going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to be a little bit reactionary on the PMI today. Sterling PMI is also coming out today. Um, I can't see these. I guess the surprise will be higher, right? I mean, everyone, there's so much bad news being bandied about. Um, the surprise will be higher. Here's our old friend EuroCAD. We've been, um, been harvesting profits on the CAD uh, the last four days. So we're just sticking with what, what's been working for us. Um, 138.77, there'll be some risk above there today. And of course, um, you know, two and a half sigma's quite a ways away. So not much to do in EuroCAD. We may take a stab at buying some CAD Swiss if that thing, um, which is kind of the Siamese twin of EuroCAD, if that thing plunders uh, later. Let's have a look at Aussie. Not doing too much. Um, incredibly muted, especially considering uh, Kiwis did 75 today. But of course, it was expected, so no great shakes. How about um, <laughs> how about Euro Sterling yesterday? What the fuck was that? Up 30 pips, down 30 pips, down 50 pips, up 50 pips. That was uh, doing my head in, uh, the old Euro Sterling. Let's look at this in the four hours. You can see we did a little pennant here. We're just breaking out of the pennant now. Um, in uh, cable. Uh, what's going to happen in cable? It's going to be PMI driven. Risk is topside, right? Everyone's Everyone loves to be bearish cable. That's for darn sure. Looks like this thing may pop higher. There's going to be risk above um, 119.58, and then the big risk is 120.36. Are we going to see that today? Uh, that seems to be asking a lot, but um, who knows? Let's go to Euro Sterling. Look at this slut bagger. What the hell is this shit? Mother of God. Put in. Uh, <laughs> Asinine low 86.33 yesterday. As cable was like cruising higher and we had some positive numbers out of Euro, I kept trying to be long Euro and Euro Sterling just kept putting pressure left hand side on the Euro side of it. 
um, and it was just incredibly frustrating and annoying, and I just didn't, I didn't make enough money yesterday, um, so I'm angry at Euro Sterling. Euro Sterling's back at 94. There's nothing to do with Euro Sterling except for maybe spit on it, like, I don't know, in, 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 back when I was more American, we used to say clam. If you're from New England, like, yeah, clam on it. Um, Euro Sterling deserves a clam. Uh, what else? Euro Swiss, don't care. This is, uh, this one's been like kind of just sneaky, just sitting around here. I don't know what is going on at 9410. Um, but if Aussie Yen were more in play, I'd be watching this a little bit more closely. Because it's not in play, I'm not really watching it, but it looks like there's an order there. Uh, maybe when that gets filled, we get a little bit of a pop in Aussie Yen. I don't know. Euro Yen riding the Euro wave. Bang, bang. Up, uh, up, up, and away. Not a ton to two here. Just small little muted up bars. You can see no one's really playing in the, in the end crosses right now. Dollars are also just not doing diddly. Probably can go lower today if we still stay risk on. Let's look at equities. Above 4,000. Where's the 200 day? 4066. Definitely a sell up there first time uh, in my book. We'll have to see. Crude, also a risk metric. Traded up to 82.41 yesterday. Ooh, 82.36. That was a quick 10% move from 75.20. Bang. Dollar yen not doing much. Sidelined here. This is a euro and sterling day. Um, cable, 95 now. We sniped some down there at 84. Um, dollar Swiss, come on, Google Chrome ne répond pas, um, for those of you who don't speak French means Google Chrome's, Chrome's telling you to fuck off, oh, he's back, back from his slumber, the old Chrome, um, Dollar Swiss heading back into the lower end of the range. Nothing really to do here. Um, holy cow, this computer. So slow. Kiwi, 75 point rate hike. Uh, let's see what it did on the hour. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it went down to 29 first. Then went up to 92. Um, why would it go down to 29 first? It's excellent. It's a very difficult price action. Let's look at the five minutes just to see. Yeah, that's a five minute bar. I guess, as expected, bang. 42 to 29 and up to 92. That's a difficult one to trade. If you were awake trading that, um, God bless you. Not a lot to do here. It was expected. Um, We'll just have to see uh, where this goes and, and what the RBNZ says now about future hikes. Uh, we talked about Aussie Yen, Euro Aussie. Climbing, climbing, climbing with the rest of the Euro crosses. This is a uh, triple top here, 155.52. Huh. I mean, that's a PMI trade if you... Um, you're looking for a technical setup, triple, sort of quadruple top on the four hourlies. Uh, let's look at the dailies. This is, I mean, it's very similar to um, the Aussie yen picture, but the other way around. This one, you're selling Aussie. The other one, you're buying Aussie. Um, anyway, triple top there. Swiss yen, we don't care. Cad Swiss uh, hasn't really done anything. Um, we're trying to pick this thing up around 70.50. It's just dicking around 71, so no hope there. Euro Norway, bang, 10.43. We squared our dollar CAD, by the way, uh, even though it's, we're back at the lows. It was a good trade for us. We're just moving on. Uh, so we don't have much on the books right now. Just a tiny bit of cable that we bought. Um, 
just during this video. Cad yen, huh? These weird crosses that nobody's trading. You can't tell if these patterns are here because nobody's trading them. Look at the volatility in Cad yen. Ew. You can't tell if nobody's trading them or there's something to do here. 105.80. Looks to me like nobody's doing anything, so um, we'll see any CAD numbers today, corporate profits, no, 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 nobody cares. We get services PMI out of the U.S. today, though, later. Dollar Max, uh, same chart as dollars are. Um, I wonder if the Sinaloa cartel has an FX arm. Um, obviously, they need to sell dollars. They're dollar sellers, but tough when it's physical dollars. I don't know how they're going to do that. Maybe maybe someone uh, on the chat knows uh, who does the FX for, uh, for the Sinaloa cartel. Uh, maybe it's time for a trip to Mexico City, try and drum up some business. Dollar China, speaking of cartels, 718. This is the same pattern, a lot of same similar patterns here, Aussie Yen, Dollar China, CAD Yen, um, a lot of similar patterns here. Crypto, not trading it, still own it, Ethereum and Matic, uh, definitely out of the money. My Matic break even is 92 cents, my Ethereum break even is 1900, uh, so that's, um, those two are deeply in the ass. But whatever, we're still believers, like the monkeys. I'm a believer. Um, we'll see, but not trading it. Uh, so anyway, we've said a lot here, uh, but not really said all that much. We're just waiting on these PMIs. We've got some, um, we've got some long cable because it looks like that's going to be the surpriser. If um, if the PMIs are strong out of out of the UK. This thing's going to break 119.50 and it'll probably uh, attack that 120.28 where big, big long term CTAs are going to have to puke their shorts. So keep an eye on that. There's probably some money to be made if we get up there. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Go make some dough, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.